Hi guys, the fish here. Uh, Fall Nord just got a new update recently, and at the end of the video, I'll explain why I'm a little bit disappointed with something they added. It has something to do with the pre-order bonus, but um, for the most part, patch 1.07 is basically just a collection of bug fixes, and I'll just go through them as quickly as possible just to save you some time. Okay, so let's see. Photo mode has been fixed. Um, of course, when I was roaming around Kashyyyk a little bit, I did accidentally go into photo mode a bunch of times, and it did explode rockets. So um, I guess it explains here that it breaks some volumes within the game, and it, <laughs> it seems like that rockets will no longer be affected, and I'm hoping that photo mode doesn't become too broken because I really like that feature. I've been getting some great angles, especially with... Uh, places on Zepho. It's honestly very beautiful. Uh, there's a bug that was causing one of the elevators in the last level to have a tendency of disappearing. Um, also, improving collision on Ilum, where I currently am, because I haven't finished the game, but f for the most part, I think it's really just collision when it comes to all the debris and snow that's blowing around. Um, so far, I haven't found any of these glitches myself, but Let's see what's next. Our language translations have been updated. I'm guessing that's just a simple continuity error be between um, English and the other languages that they offer. Um, there's also an issue where some text was overlapping in photo mode, photo mode for specific screen ratios. Um, that has been fixed. And the Obino Weishikok tactical guide entry was appearing for all users, including myself, and this should now be fixed. We fixed Gorga Gorgara having a tendency to disappear at specific times on Dathomir. Now, we go into the very bad content that I was talking about earlier. Pre-order content has now been unlocked for all players. And this content includes the orange lightsaber blade color that I paid an extra $10 for. The Magido campaign lightsaber hilt. Umbaran campaign lightsaber hilt. The BD1 skin and the Mantis um, ship skin. So, I'm quite frustrated. I sent Respawn an email. I'm just wondering why. Because I did spend an extra $10 just so I could ha like exclusively have these colors. So I could feel that a little bit more special. But I guess in the end, it is a pre-order. It's, like, um, it's not a deluxe edition. But still, we were promised that we were going to get the orange lightsaber color. Along with all the other skins. And it was going to be exclusive. So... That concludes my version 1.07 recap. Uh, in the next video, if there's any other versions at, to be added to this game, bug fixes, whatever, I'll be sure to be on top of it. So th this is DeFish. Uh, th I'm thanking you for all the support, uh, the 100 subscribers. <laughs> Not very impressive, but still, we're getting there. Um, so yeah, I'll see you later.